What is up guys, it's Jay here, JMedia1, and we are back with another product tech review. Today is a good day because we got the newer 12 inch. This is a 12 inch RGB ring light with the tripod holder. It's got an infrared remote. It's got dimmable 16 colors and four flash modes for makeup, live streaming, YouTube, TikTok, and just video shooting in general. This is a really cool ring light kit and it does come with the tripod and all this other cool stuff. So we're gonna give you guys a look. So it comes in this big box here. And that's because everything's kind of jam packed together, which is good. So this is newer, it's a ring light and it does come with the extendable tripod. So we just got this little tab at the bottom we gotta cut through. So we're gonna get through that. Let's get that out of the way. So after we get through that, we open up the lid and this is everything. So there's some reading material inside of here. We got our ring light, of course. I'm gonna try to fit all this here. We got our tripod stand. We got a remote control. We got our phone mount. And we got our other remote. And then we also have this um, this little cord saver here, and then there's another little box inside of here as well. Other than that, it's just some foam inside of there for good packaging, so we're good to go on that. This is a black hot shoot ball head with a quarter inch screw mount. So this thing is very cool for mounting on everything, so we're going to keep that out of the way for now, keep all these mounts out of the way. And the remote. This is going to be most certainly our tripod. And it comes in a case, which is cool, so you guys can carry this around if you need to do some transportation with it. So if we open the case, it comes in plastic, and there it is. And the cool thing about this type of stand is that you have these locks down here. So you can adjust the legs, and when you adjust the legs, it's simple to lock in. You just click this down. Once you click this down, everything is tight. So you can adjust the leg just to that distance if you want, and you can see it doesn't move. It's good to go. So we got that, and we're gonna set this guy up. But first, let's take a look at the light itself. So this is the ring light. And you can see it's just a series of LEDs that go around the light inside of here. And this is 12 inches. You can see how big it is if you look at my hand inside of there. And there's the little mount inside of here, the little slot for the mount inside of here. Underneath we have this little screw hole here so we can mount that as well on our tripod and then it is adjustable You see there's a little pivot point here so we can move it up and down And then the cord here comes with a little control box on the side and this is going to be our uh, remote control receiver So that we can receive input signals from this remote control and change the different lights on there the lighting colors and speeds and things like that so if we just untwist this, get that out of the way. This is just a USB-A, so you can plug this into any USB-A and you're gonna be in good shape. And then it comes with these little Velcro pieces here that will allow you to Velcro it to the stand. So this is all really, really nice. A Little bit of reading material, lets you know how to set it up, get started, everything like that pretty specific and then there's also a manual inside of here for the tripod itself so it does show you how to set it up but we're going to do that for you guys so you can see here guys we have a tripod stand and basically what you want to do is you want to take all of these clips here you can take all of these and you just stretch it out so now that it's stretched out like that you can click on these little locks everything kind of locks into place and you just do it with all three legs, you open them all up, you close them back together, and you have your full extension. So we got these all extended out. Now this will adjust as well, so you can see there's some movement here. And that will just allow us to control the base portion of it. So if you set it up like this, you have this knob right here on the side. And that knob allows us to make the adjustment up and down this way as well. So we're just going to adjust it all the way up for now. So you guys can see how tall this is. Now I'm about 5'10 or so, so this right here is a pretty good height. You have an adjustment knob right here as well. If you loosen this up, it allows you to adjust it this direction. So we could set that up. And then this screw right here allows us to adjust the pivot point up and down. And when we screw it to the right or tighten it down, 
then we will be good to go as far as locking it into place so it won't move around. Then you also have another lock here. This keeps it from swiveling back and forth. If you loosen that up, you can rotate it this way. A lot of people will keep this portion of it loose so that you can swivel it back and forth easily. And then when you want to adjust it up and down, you can just turn the knob and you're good to go there. So everything looks good here. So we need to get our ring light. We just get the ring light like this. And there's a screw right here on the tripod itself. And so we just want to screw this down. Should we screw this right into here? And you just basically turn the knob until it gets tight. Now the direction that you face this thing is going to want to be the direction that you want it to pivot. So that's the reason that we have it like this because we can just loosen this knob and we can pivot this however we like right there. So that makes us super nice and handy. So we're going to do that. And then we can tighten this and tighten this knob here and keep that nice and stiff. So everything is good. It's not going to move around. Now you take your little Velcro straps and you come down the pole here and you just wrap these things around and they Velcro onto the other side. So you can go all the way down the pole like this, kind of keep this cord out of the way, just like that. And that's where our USB-A is going to plug in and that's going to activate and turn on the ring light itself. All right, guys, so we got that all plugged in. That's good to go. We're going to grab our remote here. And this remote's just got a little tab you pull off from the bottom. That keeps it from activating the battery, so it keeps the battery in good shape, which is really nice. And then we just have our on and off button, so we can turn it on. And you're going to want to make sure that you're within range of this box, because it's an infrared receiver, so it's picking up here. And it comes on and it's automatically red. If we flip it to W, it goes to white. This is what you're going to want to use if you're just doing your regular selfies, things like that. You have brightness control, so you can make it brighter or dimmer. Lots of different dimmable patterns. It goes really, really dim all the way to super, super bright. And it does get really, really bright. Then we can change our colors if we like. We can make it orange, uh, yellow. We can go blue, purple, green. So there's lots of different options there. You can also make it fade. You can make it strobe if you like, you can make it smooth, and you can make it flash. So there's lots of different options there, we're just going to leave it on white for now. So you want to grab your phone, because your phone is going to mount right here in this general section. But we have to get into this little box, because this is our, this right here is going to be our screw mount for that. So when we open this up, we can see inside of here that we have our mount, our screw mount, and then we also have our phone holder right inside of here. And there's two different thumb adjustments on here. There's one at the bottom and there's one on the back. And then we have our, our little thumb screw right here at the bottom. And the thumb screw at the bottom here is going to allow us to slide it into this little slot here. So we just slide it in there just like this. And you have to make a little bit of adjustment here because it's got to have enough room to fit into that slot. So you got a couple different thumb screws you can adjust to get it to fit inside of there. And then it just slides in just like that and you screw it down. Once you screw it down, it's in place. And then we can mount our phone mount on there as well. So we can just screw this down. So our phone mount's in there. And this is on a swivel head. You can adjust this, make it swivel uh, to whatever setting you need it to be at. So if you need it pointed down, you're in good shape as well. So this will independently swivel from the ring light itself. Then you just get your phone, whatever orientation you want it in, and you stick it inside of here. So this is spring loaded. So we just pull this up until it fits and it holds it real, real tight. So we don't have to worry about that. You're probably gonna want the camera in this orientation like this. And the cool thing about this is you can use it for different cameras too. It doesn't just have to be a phone, but you can put your phone inside of there and uh, use this. And it's going to give you that light that you need right off of your face, every bit of light that you need in order to take a, a really good shot. So this thing is nice and it's big and it gives you plenty of room being 12 inches in order to accomplish that. 
So that's it completely set up, but you also have an option here. They give you this little pull mount and there's a little clip on the side. You fold this back and then you can mount this right here and you can have a secondary camera. You can maybe use this for some reading material if you needed a reference or some reference notes, things like that. So you have that option as well. So this is really cool and that just goes right around the pole. And there's some rubber inside of here to keep it held in there real nice and strong. They also give you some other cool things. So you have this. This is going to be your remote that you want to pair to Bluetooth. And when you pair it to Bluetooth, you're going to have the option to take photos or videos, which is clicking a button. So it gives you the option to just uh, go ahead, click this button, and then you can start taking photos and videos as well with just this. So that's super cool. And this is just basically a remote shutter, but they give you a little stand for it. And basically what this does is it just clips on there just like that. And then you have a little holder here and you slide it down in there. So how do you activate this? Pretty simple. You take this, you flip this little switch here to on and you turn your Bluetooth on your phone on. And once you do that, then it's going to pair with your phone. After it pairs with your phone, you can go ahead and start taking some shots with your phone like that. So basically you just go to your phone, go into your settings, and then you want to go over to Bluetooth and you want to flip this on so that it's active and you can see the little blue light starts to flash. Once the blue little light starts to flash, you just click on the shutter, which it turns into AB shutter three and you click on pair. Now it's connected. So if we go to our camera inside of our phone at this point, we can see that it's on photo mode right there and you can turn it on, uh, you could turn it on video mode as well, but we got it on photo mode right there. So we turn it on that and then we can start taking pictures. So if we click here, it's going to take one shot. If we go to video, it's going to go ahead and start the video. You can see that the video is rolling right there. And then you click it again and it stops the video. So this is super duper handy. If you guys are taking some shots like this, you just have a remote to activate and um, get everything rolling and you don't have to worry about reaching over to your phone and then it's got that little switch that turns off once you turn that off it's good to go so i think this is a very very cool mount um, it could be used for lots of different things like i said you could take it and use it for vlogging for videos for uh, all kinds of different things so it's really cool it's got a great stand i think it kind of fits everything really well uh, definitely adjustable in lots of different directions so you can adjust this down if you want to change the pitch here and then you also could adjust these legs you could put this on a table if you like uh, different things like that without a problem it's going to have no issues and you do have this swivel head here as well so you can make your adjustments there if you're taking good uh, photo or video if you guys have a pro tip is if you guys have an iWatch like this you can take your iWatch and then use it to connect to this camera. Once you do that, you can look at your watch and see exactly where you're at on the camera. So if you want to use it in this orientation, which is a smart move, because you're going to have better all around picture quality, then you can use your, your watch as your camera um, in order to maintain that, which is very, very cool. Okay guys, we wanted to show you some footage with just the selfie light. This is the selfie light on white. There's no other lights on right now. If we grab our remote control here, you can see what it looks like with the different colors. So this is with orange. We got yellow. We got blue. We got purple. We got white. So that's with the different colors involved. And this is the different brightness levels. So that's all the way peaked. And then if we dim it, dim it, dim it, dim it, dim it, all the way down. And then all the way back up. So we just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Uh, like I said, there's no other lights on, just the selfie light at this point in time. We got the phone mounted in the, the shoe hole, and we are good to go. So this thing looks pretty good, I think, and you guys can add the strobe effects. So that's the strobe effect, what it looks like if it's on and active. And then we got the fade effect. And then we got the different changing effects. So this one's pretty wild. 
But you can go pretty crazy with it. You can add some cool different effects to your videos. So we wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So what about this item? Well, the kit includes the 12 inch RGB ring light. You get the infrared remote control. You get the tripod stand. You get the wireless IR remote control. You get a phone clip. You get a type C phone holder. You get a cold ball shoe head adapter. Like I said, it's 12 inches in diameter. It's 54 pieces LED beads. So there's 54 LED beads inside of here, which is good because you're going to get that ultimate color from all of those. Um, each color has 10 level brightness to meet your different lighting needs. Uh, this selfie ring is USB powered, so it's compatible with PC, laptop, power bank, USB charger, AC adapter, and more. The infrared remote control must be used in open space without any obstacles within a space of 7 to 8 meters. That's just because it's infrared, so it's got to be within range and you got to be able to uh, make good contact. It does have that tripod which is 4 section adjustable. It's got aluminum alloy legs with quick pull flip type locks. It allows you to adjust the working height from 15.7 inches to 54 inches in just seconds. It's folded into 16 and a half inches. It's got a three-way pan head with a convenient handle which allows for tilt and swivel motion, making it easy to target the ring light to your subject at any angle. It's stable enough to support the heaviest smartphones or small cameras up to about 4.4 pounds, which is really nice. Uh, this will work really good if you guys have a, a GoPro as well, because I have mounted my GoPro to tripods like this and it works really, really nice. It's got great compatibility. Uh, the two phone clip is included. One is uh, general ball head installation and the other is the C-type, which allows you to put the phone on the tripod leg. Both cell phone holders are compatible with most smartphones like iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 12, 12 Pro Max, Samsung S8, Note 8, etc. It's suitable with phones with a width of 2.3 to 3.3 inches or 5.2 to 8.5 centimeters. This thing is a really smoking deal right now because right now you can get this thing for $49.09 on Amazon and there's a coupon where you can save an extra 30%. We're going to leave a link down below so you guys can just click on the link and get yours today. If you guys like this video, make sure to mash the like button. That helps YouTube's algorithms to get our videos out there to other people that like tech just like you do. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we got new stuff releasing every day, guys. And if this video was helpful, comment down below. And we will see you in the next one. Later, guys.